When we look at the U.S. economy and model how it will be affected by climate change in the future, the most interesting and surprising finding of our work is that it will affect different parts of the country in very different ways. So in the south, where it's hot and along the coast, we might see populations losing the equivalent of 20% of their income. Whereas in the cooler northern and western regions, we actually see that populations might benefit a little. And because the north is, tends to be wealthier and the south tends to be poorer, what we see is that in the future, climate change is going to increase economic inequality within the United States. So we look at all different aspects of the economy. We look at energy demand, labor supply, crime, agriculture, coastal impacts, human health. And what we see are some of the biggest impacts, for example, are that along the coastline, sea level rise is going to damage a large amount of property, and that those that rising sea level exacerbates the damage that will occur as with hurricanes along the coastline. We also see in the Midwest, for example, that agriculture will suffer in a Dust Bowl-like scale. So this is going to transform what agriculture looks like in that region. But then across all these sectors, the one that really jumps out is human health. And so when we achieve really high temperatures, especially in the southern regions of the United States, we're going to see many more people exposed to heat stress and suffer mortality in ways that, that society is, is really uh, spends a lot of money to avoid. And that is going to be probably the biggest impact for the United States. So many studies have looked at different economic impacts of climate change around the world and over time. What's really new about this study is that we've been looking at very high granularity at the United States, looking at individual counties, looking at how their economy will evolve with time in many different sectors, so that we can see with all the richness how the U.S. economy will evolve, and that lets us see how different parts of the country will benefit and other parts of the country will, will suffer. In the past, we've tended to think of the United States as like a single entity that will all benefit or lose together. But in fact, what we see is this widening inequality as a result of climate change. This, uh, this analysis of the US economy by look, looks at many different parts of the economy. And, and by doing so, it allows us to figure out what parts of the economy really are vulnerable and maybe which parts of the economy are a little bit more resilient to climate change. And that allows decision makers in different regions of the country to make informed decisions about what they should focus on and how we should make investments to sort of protect our population and our economy against the future climate change. Because it is not a one-size-fits-all problem. If we're going to adapt, we need to know what parts of the economy are vulnerable in which region of the country.